Well guys, um, been working on a lot of things, I figured I might as well give you another update. I know that was, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be, I am trying still to get stuff put together because I do still want to make like a, a shift type video, um, movie. Um, the what if videos are still in the process. Just getting back into school full time, kind of, you know, got, I got to balance it out, but it is coming. It's not off, it's just taking a while. <laughs> um, you know, I made my gun rack. I'm getting ready to paint that. There'll be a video coming up on that. I did, I'm going to, well, what, in a second here, we'll jump up and give you a quick uh, view of what I did to the office to get it ready for uh, a little side business making t shirts. And uh, coffee mugs and possibly ceramic plates, if anyone's interested. Hats. Um, Harry came up with it. And signs. Signs, logos. And car, some car decals. I actually got one person that might want me to uh, put decals on his tow truck. So that would be something cool. Um, haven't thought of a name yet. If you guys have any suggestions, you know, I'm open to suggestions. i just... Nothing stupid, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. This ain't much else going on, so I'll show you what the office looks like now. All right, this took it off my tripod, which is going to be real helpful in making better videos. All right, over here, haven't bought a lot of vinyl yet, but I got you know black, blue for uh, signs and car decals. And red and white colors for shirts and stuff. And the big roll there is actually transfer tape. And then underneath here is the famous vinyl cutter. And my work area, my desk here. My chair is over here. <laughs> Let's say that. Um, off Amazon, I got a uh, bracket so I can put the TV up on the wall so I have more desk to work with. I have the fax machine. Well, my fax printer, copier, scanner, everything in one machine over here now. It used to be over there, but now it's over here. It's kind of convenient because I'm sitting here. I can get right to the stuff. A uh, bunch of clutter I gotta go through still. More clutter gotta go through still. But then I removed the, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> The couch thing, futon couch that was here. I actually put up my son's room. And I still got the green screen wall. And on this table that I replaced it with is where the heat press that I have coming is going to be. So I can make shirts and a little work area also so that I can, uh, they call it weeding, weeding the vinyl. So that's be pretty cool. And the rest off is pretty much the same. But I don't know, just getting rid of that couch just made it feel so much more roomy in here. I don't know, the, the couch made me feel claustrophobic. You know, I got plenty of chairs for people to come over and do whatever, chill and watch me do whatever. So, should be just fine. So, that's update what's going on in next day. Uh, of course, there are other things. I'm still working with the youth, youth council. They have their own, I, I set up their own um, YouTube channel. It's called CPNA Youth, YouTube.com. Haven't worked out too much, but I'm trying to, you know, get some more videos. I actually just got six gigs of video footage that I got to go through and edit and crop and do all that good stuff. So it should be up there real soon. Ugh. Um, trying, I got a big program I'm doing for the neighborhood, trying to get new roofs, siding, or, you know, paint exteriors for the whole neighborhood to make our neighborhood really stand out and look really nice. So that's the big thing we're trying to do. We're trying to get private funds for that from private investors because we actually have a couple investors that have large properties like uh, retirement homes and stuff in the area. So And we got the U of M Flint and Mott College in nearby. So, you know, our neighborhood being in the middle of that, it kind of be in their best interest. We're trying to sell them to invest into our neighborhood. Not let our neighborhood become a slum because then no one wants no one want to visit the area where their colleges and retirement homes and all that crap is. So working on that, it's <laughs> a lot of work. Taking pictures of houses, documenting houses, measuring sidewalks, taking pictures of broken sidewalks, trees, assessments, a lot of stuff. 
So I've been working hard on that, plus school. So, And a lot of you are wondering what I was going to school for. I'm going to school for CAD design, which is uh, SolidWorks, Unigraphics, Katera, CAD, AutoCAD. Um, anything that has to do with build, you know, creating products, creating parts, creating, designing cars, design car parts, bike parts, airplane parts, gun parts, anything. That's what I'm learning. So that's what's going on next day. Take care, guys. Bye.